Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Inja Art. My name is Gretel and we're gonna do another pour today. Last week I made a wooden round and I put the pot coaster on top for I think it was a very fun pattern. The colors could have been better but the pattern was fun. It's not a new type of pour which I thought it might be but I've seen pores now, I was looking if there is something similar to this. But I've seen mixed media pour over a big snowflake. Kind of looks a lot like a, this type of pour. The colors that I have mixed today are all like a, a purple tone. I'm going to show you. I have four colors. Four different uh, colors purple, my silver, a white, and I have always also made a very soft metallic lilac color. Okay, let's just do this. Well, I've just put down a base coat. On my wooden round, pop the bubbles that's in there, and I'm gonna fill my cup. try and do this one a little different than last week but let's just go okay Put in the darker colors at the end, as you can see.
that's just beautiful. Mm. Just gonna do it. color is coming from silver and another color it's making like a little green I don't mind but it's not something you expect but I'm gonna spin it again not even sure but I'm definitely gonna spin this one I think it's already looking gorgeous one out. One more time. Seeing a lot of air bubbles in there. I don't want to go too close up with the torch because the Amsterdam might really get a lot of bubbles in there. Okay, that's not centered. Let's center it one more time. Permanent deep blue violet is gorgeous, guys. Is it deep blue or is it just permanent blue violet? Permanent blue violet. Okay, center it again a little bit more. Mm, I'm not really getting the center great, but. Ah!
wish you all could see the amount of shine in this one. Oh, I think she's beautiful. Wow, these colors are gorgeous together. Really beautiful. Oh, I'm loving this one, guys. Sometimes you really gotta stop and admire your own work. See if there's something you want to take off, which I really don't. Yes, that silver at some places made like a little like I can't even explain where, but it looks like a little like it's a sage color, if you can see. But <laughs> I think she's very beautiful. More than beautiful. I hope you do too. <laughs> take off the drips. It's very important you take them off. If you don't take off the drips, when your painting is almost dry, the drips might still keep pulling your paint on one spot, on one place. You don't want that. So, oh, wow, guys. Oh, Amsterdam, how I love thee now. Well, I really think she's beautiful. I've already seen that it looks much lighter on the video than it does in the actual light, in real life. And I also know that some colors are going to dry darker. Anyway, I hope you like my video. It's a short one this time. And if you do, please don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. Then we'll see each other again next week. Okay? Bye. And greetings from the Netherlands. <laughs>